Hello my friends, my name is Wieti and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. Last time we began Mallow's trial and we just beat up a Shinotic, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna carry on. We're basically doing her shopping for her in this forest. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Oh, a tiny mushroom, that's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. Still three ingredients left to get. We still need a whole bit big helping. Now, let's see if I'm going to remember what I need to get, because that battle took a little longer than I would have liked. Um, so, I don't exactly remember all the ingredients. I know one was like a figgy berry or some bullshit like that. Uh, where am I? Am I meant to be here? Oh, there's something here. X attack. That's not what we need for an ingredient. We don't need to put drugs into our food. Alright, this is not the right way, quite clearly. My bad. So, where do I go? Because it looks like... Okay, maybe... Nope. I'm a sniffing! Where is it? It's in this direction. This way? Yeah, there. I found X defense. God damn I don't need drugs! Right, that's going all the way north. Oh, that's right! I do I'm not bound to this thing, I can get off! Uh... Idiot. Super potion, okay. So maybe I need to go into different areas, because obviously this is another, like, different area here. So I go up here, and then in this area, I use Startland and try to find what I'm looking for. And there's something here. Heal powder, okay, don't need that. But I need to, like, find a little area somewhere around here. What is this? Ooh, secret entrance! Oh, I found a TM! Grass Knot, that's a good attack, I think. It doesn't like, have a set amount of damage, it uh, does damage based on the opponent's weight. Uh, let's see. It's done. Startland, okay. Anything up here? There's something on the- I'm, I'm close to something. Here! It's a patch of rather suspicious looking grass, will you pull it up? Yeah! A revival herb! It's just normal weight. Oh, you bitch! A Pokemon left out of the grass. Damn it! I've been had by the- by the grass! The grass has fooled me! And I find a Fomantis! You ever get fooled so badly that you end up pulling out a Pokemon's hair? Instead of, uh, you know, finding a weed that you're looking for? And I don't mean none of that bad weed, I mean the good weed, the one that I'm actually looking for. Uh, suspicious looking grass. Okay, now that makes sense. I got the Revival Herb! And then a Pokemon leapt out to attack, of course. Probably another Fermentus, if I had to guess. Hey, it's me, Mallow! Really? Is it you? In Mallow's trial of Mallow's shopping cart! That's a fine Revival Herb. Its bitter bite is even a shock to Pokemon, but that's what will add depth to the flavor. Still more ingredients left to get, just a little more to find. When you say it's a shock, it makes them like the trainer less. Why would you do that to your Pokemon? Why would you want it to like you less? Oh, is there another little hidey hole here? I think there is. I love that I can hear like all these Pokemon cries in here. It's pretty neat. Alright, go. Where, 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 where? This has got to be another. Nah, we've already got the revival herb. Let's just leave. Alright, uh, get off. Is there a way through here or am I just. No, it just looks like there is. Okay. Let's exit through south and then we'll go right and see what we can find because we need to break things down with Tauros quite clearly in this next area. Just to the right here, and then maybe there's an area to the left that I haven't seen. I'm not sure. Let's just bash these rocks down. Hmm, nothing there. Big one. Oh, I can't break this one. Oh, that must be a strength boulder thing. I think, maybe. Oh no, it kind of looks like it. It's a bit huge though. What do I need for this? Can Stoutland move it? Uh. Tauros, are you sure you can't do anything about it? Really? Because it clearly goes there. I don't know, because you only get four Pokemon in this. It's not going to be... It's not... It, well, it isn't Charizard. Alright. Sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Alright, nothing here. Move away. Anything here? Yes! A miracle seed! Yes, that's the other thing we need. It's not all we need to bury. Hey, it's me, Mallow. That's a great miracle seed. Miracle seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Just one less ingredient left. Get back out there and find it. 
and it'll probably be over here. I didn't know that there was another thing that we could get that could teach us strength uh, in some form or another. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. These, uh, what are they called? I guess ride Pokemon? Yeah, ride Pokemon are all basically like, uh, HMs. Uh, just like dumbed down to an easier format, I suppose. But I didn't think, I thought like they would have mixed like strength in with Tauros or something. And there is a little left path here. So I'm just looking for a berry now. Where it be? Special, I don't want these X special attacks and all this other bullshit. Alright, uh, hello tree. Oh, something came out to attack me. I wonder what it was. Was it an Apom? No, it's another Fermentus. That's exciting. Alrighty, there must be something right here that it was protecting. A berry! A Mago Berry! Okay, I got it wrong. It's a, no, a Figgy Berry. It's a Mago Berry. Now then. Hey, it's me, Mellow. Congrats on finding that Mago Berry. The bigger and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it will taste. Looks like you got everything. Why did you send me on your chore duty if you were just going to follow me the whole time and introduce yourself every single time? Uh, so come on back to the entrance of the jungle. And I really don't like these weird, like, habits they give these characters. Like, yeah, you could add it- you could say that it adds character to them, but... Like, things like the professor constantly saying yeah, or oh yeah, or like her constantly introducing herself, it's like... Yeah, these would be funny if, uh, it was voiced, like, in the anime, but in the anime they don't even have these habits, as far as I know. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry, oh, how I to keep you waiting! How are you, Mallow? Uh, oh, I don't remember what voice I gave her. I'm sorry. I bought a thick quab and a well bone. And also, I brought my penis, which is also named thick quab and well bone on occasion. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. What weird kinky shit is going on here? Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kawaii. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Adam. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Let me uh, let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry, one Tiny Mushroom, one Revival Herb, one Miracle Seed. Yeah, the things I asked you for. Just what the recipe calls for, now I can make the Malo special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that totem Pokemon right to us. What is that? Oh, I missed what Rotom said there. Ready to start cooking? Yep. What is this music? This is not a carnival! Okay, Lana, flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. That sounds very unclean. Then in go the Mago Berry and the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival Herb and the Miracle Seed. Kawaii, let's use the Thick Club and that Rare Bone for a minute. Hey, you are. Okay, Adam, grab the Thick Club. Oh, oh yes, and the Rare Bone and pound it all to- Oh, I'm gonna pound it to a pulp! Oh, I'm gonna pree! Oh my god, I'm gonna pree! Crush it. Crush that puss! Oh, yes! Oh, why? Oh, I'm gonna grind it. Oh, yeah! Why do I keep looking down at her, like, her just, her torso area? Turn it to goo- What is this scene?! What is this scene?! Oh, I'm gonna goo! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna goo! A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. We shouldn't say that while staring at her crotch. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within, within the underbush. Mallow's underbush?! Oh my god, it's a smoky scary. <laughs> I'm so miffed! Oh my god! <laughs> what is this scene? What is this scene? That's just funny. Ah, it is me! Totem Lorantis. It just came up as like if it was about to destroy me. I gotta give you the biggest bear hug of your life! Oh, that's some funny shit, man. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to change away from Kirby because Kirby has no PP left in any of its good moves. And I would need to use Silverwind to be effective here, which I have no PP, so I'm gonna switch into Koalava, and I can just use Fire-type attacks, and that'll be super effective anyway. Because, pre uh, presumably, this is the evolved form of Fomantis. No, stop calling for things! I don't want the fight to go on longer than it has to, and I don't want there to be a chance that a shiny will appear that I can't catch. It is spooky, unless there's a shiny lock on things during trials that, that I don't know about. I don't know. Come on, game. I selected my attack about two days ago. There we go. This leaf isn't going to do much, but Trumbeak over there might be able to do a bit more damage. I think it's a Trumbeak. I don't know the names of these things yet. 
Drumbeat, yes. I'm gonna take a while to get used to all these names. I mean, there's now, I mean, as of Ultra Shot Ultra Moon, there is 807 Pokemon to memorize. And I can just about memorize Gen 6. It's not extremely, it's not easy to remember all, like, what was it, 721 Pokemon from Gen 6 onwards? It's not easy. God, what are you doing? Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Quilava! Oh, damn. Right, what am I gonna do? Snorlax, will you be useful? Alright, let's use Snorlax. Let's use Metronome, just for the shits and giggles. I was gonna use Takedown, because it would be quite good, especially because I got the Silk Scarf and Stab. But, I just like using Metronome. I like the randomness. I like pushing my luck. Solar Blade, that's what it used. Is it what it used? Why not just use Solar Beam? Oh no, I'm confused. Oh, you bitch. Come on, don't. Okay. It's using <sighs> Dragon Tail. Good move, good move. Didn't do a lot, though. I kind of wanted to do something that can attack both of these guys. That would be pretty cool. But I am sort of expecting, like, a uh, an explosion or something. I have to say, despite it basically being Solar Beam, but called Solar Blade, that is a really cool attack. Like, like the way it looks. Oh yeah, I forgot about confusion. No! Don't hit yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Uh, let's just go for another metronome. Fuck it! I am not battling very well. And also, this lag though. Like the aura it gives around totem Pokemon, mixed with... Oh god! Mixed with the fact there's three of them on screen. No, Snorlax! Just creates a huge amount of frame rate lag in this game. Which is very disappointing. Alright, Pikachu, you can do it. All you have is Spark. You have one attack. You are worthless to me. Right, let's use Thunder Wave on Lorantis because I don't want it using more of its Solar Blade attack. And then, we'll use Spark on Trumbrick when we get a chance. Now, if you could just not, that would be lovely. Good, okay. So that means we've got a chance that it's going to be paralyzed whenever it tries to attack, which is good, which is what we need. Please don't get rid of all my defense. I need it. Thank you very much. So let's use Spark and take out Trumbeak. Hopefully in one hit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'll be fine. I was gonna say hopefully, uh, Flomantis? Is that what it's called? Hey, I leveled up. Doesn't, uh, call in more Pokemon, but it can't because it's paralyzed. And for some reason, paralyzed and other uh, status conditions means they don't call things in, which is pretty nifty. Pretty handy in this situation. Yeah, Pikachu didn't send a fucking chance. Not with Screech being uh, used on it and also the fact that it's a Pikachu. Its defense sucks ass to begin with. Charger Bug! Lorantis, okay. Um, bug Bite? Because it's bug type, so it will be good against grass. It has X Scissor! Ooh. This is probably the only one that I've come close to losing against so far. You can call things while paralyzed! I've been lied to this whole time! A cast form? Why is that here? That's a cool thing to call in. Can you catch cast form here? Oh, that's cool. Right, well, I've been lied to this entire time. I could have sworn that uh, they couldn't... Wait, did you just use recover? You motherfucker. My bug bite isn't doing enough damage. Oh, and then there's sunny day, which is going to just make all the grass type moves even more effective. So sunny day. That makes fire type moves stronger, and also cast form changes form depending on weather. But also for things like solar beam, and I assume that means a solar blade, it means that they don't have to charge up. So it's a two turn attack, but I guess that means they can use it in one turn. No, stop using synthesis! Oh god, this is going horribly wrong. Oh, it got full health! I can't deal damage! Oh, is that gonna be fire? Please don't be fire. Oh my god, this thing's kicking my ass! I didn't prepare for this! I've only got Kirby and Brion left! And Brion is only water type! Oh my god, I'm getting right fucked. Okay, Brion, you're gonna have to really kick ass on Lorantis here. What is your hidden par? I don't remember! Oh my god, this is horrible. 
Come on, game. Get up with it. Please be something like fire. It's super effective. Yes! Lorantis is done. And we got a crit thanks to my bond with my uh, thing. Yeah, I remember its name so well. Level 30! Hell yeah, okay. Kirby hit level 25, lovely. Cat's form use headbutt. And now because it's fire type, because of its form change, I should be able to take it out in one hit because I'm water type. Wow, that was a tough battle. I did not expect this to be that tough. I'll be honest, I thought this was going to be piss easy. Because it's grass type. And I had so much that I could use against it. Well, I had two things I could use against it. But it just kept healing, and the fact that it called in Cast Form and used Sunny Day and all that, like, it used strategy against me. It, it fought me really well. There we go. Woo! That was tough, I have to admit. But of course, my Brion comes out on top as always. Woo! Oh my god, it's evolving! I didn't know it evolved at this level! Kirby, finally. <laughs> A Bombi. Look at it with its little scarf! It's so cool! I love it! I'm so happy I found this shiny. Like, I would never have used this Pokemon on my team until I found the shiny. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yay! Shiny Rabombi! And to think I found that by just trying to look for a goddamn big on. That's so cool. Pollen Puff. What is it? And this music's great. It's a bug type. The user attacks the enemy with a pollen puff that explodes. If the target is an ally, it gives the ally a pollen puff that restores HP instead. Whoa, that's great! Holy crap! Much better than Silverwind. I mean, Silverwind raises my stats. That's fantastic. But pollen puff can heal my own team. Hell yeah! I mean, I'm very rarely in a double battle. Uh, but whatever. That's a great move. And then we go back to this crappy music. Wow, Adam, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon in battle. The total Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yeah, see the back as well as Volcano Park, my friend, so I didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I had trained so carefully. All right, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Woo! Looks like we're done with the second island at last! Or by the signs of it anyway. Wait, don't we have a, a, an elder to fight now? Trial complete. And that means we probably get Grassium Z if I had to guess what it's called, or Leafium Z. It's one of the two, I guarantee it. Let me show you Grass type. Uh, let me show you how to use Grass type moves. You go like, Grass, okay? Oh, I get it. Okay. I get you. Since you've cleared my trial, Adam, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. Thank you. Very nice. I like that we're getting, like, rewarded with Pokeballs and stuff by the end of these. Looks like Lorentis didn't finish all the food. Oh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kawaii. You too, Lana. If you insist. Lick. Don't put that into a text box. Oh, I don't want to hear the sound effect. That flight... That... The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes so good in your mind, mad. Now wait, is it my tongue that's melting? Ah! Anya! It's... it's so... Uh, spicy! <laughs> what? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the Grand Trial? Grand Trial, that's what it's called. It's not the Elder. I couldn't remember what the name was. Like, Grand Trial. Oh, hi, Kukui. Woo, what's the sweet smell I smell? Drifting my way. Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? All right, then. I have a present for you. This little TM right here. There is Smart Strike. A move that will never miss. Very cool. You don't, really get, you don't get very many of those. We've had Swift for years. 
there will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure even brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. I like my puns. My poke puns. I'm a funny guy. Love me. Oh, we're here. Hey there, Adam! I, I mean, we walked here together, but I'd just like to introduce myself. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala's Island's Trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on the Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Kahuna, that's the word. Olivia is an expert user of rock-type Pokemon. You're gonna want to catch some grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the, the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. Bye. All right then, next time. Did the professor tell you to head for that dimensional research lab? Yes, Rotom, I'm trying to end an episode here. Next time on Pokemon Moon. Um, if it's optional, I think I will skip the research lab. I might go there anyway, just to have a quick look. And if there's anything of note, I'll show it to you. Um, but next time we're going to be fighting the Kahuna and finishing off the second island. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>